This is Robert Kraft, and I'm your host on SNN Network. And joining me right now is Stephen Power. He's the executive chairman at Antipa Minerals, it's a publicly traded company. The symbol is AZY on the ASX. And Antipa will be participating at the upcoming Precious Metal Summit Beaver Creek, a hybrid event this year happening September 8th through the 11th. And with that, Stephen, thank you so much for joining me again. How are you doing? Thank you, Robert. And good to see you again. It's good to see you too. So last time we saw each other or we spoke was about a year ago. Uh, that's when we did an interview that we published on September 6, 2020. So love to get an update. You know, what, what would you say are some of the company's highlights in the last 12 months or so? Uh, look, I think that um, really our strategy uh, in the, uh, the Patterson province in, in Western Australia, um, where we're, we've got Rio with us and, and Newcrest down with that big telfer mine, it really is coming together. So uh, especially, I think, the advances we've made with our 100% owned um, uh, ground, I think you might be, you might remember that we had, we've got a joint venture with Rio Tinto uh, in the north. Uh, we've also got a joint venture with uh, Newcrest, uh, which owns the Telfer mine uh, in the south and with also with um, IGO and in the center and on our 100% ground, we are really driving towards that, that production opportunity. Um, and we've, we've, had some, we've had some really good solid results. Uh, we've already got three quarters of a million ounces um, and now we're getting intersections outside the resource zone, which are like 172 meters intersections at 1.68 grams per tonne gold. So about 1.7 with copper so you know like it's really starting to firm up in, into a, a real production opportunity which is where we want to get to so then what would you say are some of the company's value catalysts now for the rest of 2021 going into 2022 of, of, of course from what you can tell us ah oh, look um i think that the simple amount of exploration that's going into our ground so there's been a bit of a, what with the pandemic and things, there's been a bit, and, and just the absolute activity going on in Western Australia. There's been a bit of a hold up and bank up with assays. So the results from, from drill holes, but basically we're getting um, across all of, all of our projects, um, we will have some 60,000 meters, in excess of 60,000 meters of uh, drilling taking place this year. It'll actually be more because of the encouraging results we've got on our 100% Minyari ground. So we're gonna add another phase of drill drilling there, um, diamond, and which is you know pretty much about between 40 and $50 million spend Aussie. So that's what about 30, 30 $35 million um, US. Um, so really uh, that, that's, that will produce the results and the news flow, which will be all of this year and into next year. And we see that with the Minyari ground, our 100% owned ground, we see that as really shaping up uh, as, a, as a real catalyst. Very good. Well then, Stephen, with that, where can our audience go and find more information on Antipa? Uh, look, at our website is best. Um, also join our, our mailing list. Uh, it's at antipaminerals.com.au. Don't forget the AU because uh, for Australia. So um, yeah, if just come on, come on, and uh, and also you can contact any any investor can contact us anytime. Of course, we live in Australia, which is not particularly uh, um, convenient for uh, the US, as as you're aware of, Robert. But um, yeah, please feel free to contact us at any time. Very good. Well, Stephen, thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. Good luck. Stay safe. And I look forward to our next update. Okay. Thanks, Robert. Good to thank chat to you. Thank you. Again, my name is Robert Kraft and I'm your host on SNN Network. And we're a proud media sponsor for the upcoming Precious Metal Summit Beaver Creek, a hybrid event this year happening September 8th through the 11th. Antipa will be participating. And thank you all for watching.